Entitled Unusual Vision, Cairo Camera Club exhibition kicked off, bringing together a large number of Egyptian and foreign photographers. If you want to know the details about this exhibition, so stay tuned and don't go anywhere. And now let's move on to an interview with the head of Cairo Camera Club, Mr. Emil Ahsen, who will talk to us in details about this exhibition. <laughs> Sir, first of all, I want to start by the history of Cairo Camera Club. I want our viewers to know more about Cairo Camera Club. Cairo Camera Club started in 2007, in June exactly. This was the very first time. And it was a fruit of a workshop that we had almost six months before and we, we, we spread a kind of a statistics with the people asking them, would you like to be part of something talking about photography, spending time together, going taking pictures, having competitions together? And big number was so excited. At the very first meeting, we had 45 people attending. And since then till today, we have officially 310 members. And online, we have a bunch of thousands. And talking about today's exhibition, Unusual Vision. It's a nice title, by the way. I want to know more about uh, this exhibition, how many photographers are participating. We have 49 photographers participating in this exhibition. This is the annual exhibition for the Cairo Camera Club. And it's like the, the creme de la creme of the whole year for the whole photographers. So how do you evaluate such an exhibition bringing together Egyptian and foreign photographers as well? We have a few uh, foreign photographers. They are photographers living in Egypt and some of them are just amateur photographers. Um, thank God we have a lot of very good photographers as members of the club. Only this year we have nine that won international prizes in the first, second and third places for the whole world. We, we, we even tonight we're gonna celebrate that and we'll give them like a certificate honoring them for the good work they have done over the year uh, this is the fruit of the work of the year under the title unusual vision we asked them to give us a group of pictures every single one gives us like five to ten pictures so we can pick top of the line or top or best pictures in this small group of pictures and what you see here is the one or two of each photographer out of those 49 photographers.
there is no specific theme um, for this exhibition? No, the theme is unusual vision. Unusual vision is very different than open subject. Unusual vision is how you take pictures, attracts attention. Unusual, that people don't see it that way. People see different angles, different colors, different camera effects, different techniques, different methods of photography, different subjects included in the frame, like a part of a window, a part of the ground, a part of whatever, whatever. Reflections, the shadow and light, all of those, but in a very unique way. One of the things we told our photographers, if it is a normal, amazing picture, then it's the wrong one, don't get it to the exhibition. Even if it is wonderful. But if it is normal that people are used to see it, then we don't want it. We want something that people, when they look around at the exhibition, they will just look and say, we've never seen this different dynamic collection of pictures put in one exhibition. Talking about the winners, uh, by what measures do you choose these winners? I mean, how do you judge their... Uh... Okay, we have the winners of the year. We call them the photographer of the year. We have six, uh, first, second, third class of one star and above because we have ranking in the club. We do every month a competition and we judge it uh, with professional photographers. And every month we have like the golden, the top, of the night picture that wins the biggest ranking, wins the biggest mark. And it accumulates over the year. So by the end of the year, who gets the biggest amount of marks, the biggest number, this is the photographer of the year. And the good thing, the photographer of the year tonight that we'll celebrate now is a lady from Poland that lives here in Egypt. She's Polish, she's called Anja Krokowiska. She's the photographer of the year of the whole club. We're pleased to have with us now Mrs. Nagia Muharram, who won the title Photographer of the Year for three consecutive times. First of all, we thank you very much for joining us on Island International. Thank you very much for uh, being here today, celebrating with us the opening of the annual uh, exhibition for Cairo Caramel Club. So tell me, how did you win the uh, title Photographer of the Year for three consecutive times? Tell me more about this experience. Uh, first year, I was... Um, a new uh, member in the Cairo Camera Club and I was honored to be the, the photographer of the year for the first the one star because we are categorized by first uh, two, one star two star three stars till five stars then I was a photographer of the year for first star, for one star uh, the year was member the, the first year I was member in the club the second year I was the uh, uh, I, I have been uh, graduated to two stars. I took, I took the photographer of the year, third place. And this year it will be a, a surprise for me because they told me that I am also this year the third uh, place photographer of the year.
about your experience with Cairo Camera Club. I mean, uh, tell me about the benefits uh, of participating there and tell me more details about that. Uh, Cairo Camera Club is a photographer, it photograph groups. Uh, every month we um, gather, we, we uh, join together to critique our uh, uh, photos by uh, uh, participating with the photo in a certain team. Uh, then uh, the judge, we have judge every month, who judge us every photo and a very uh, hard criticism. Uh, so we learn, every month we learn how to, to be better in uh, photography. Uh, Mrs. Nagia, today you have taken part in this exhibition. I want to know by how many photos you participated and tell me the details about these photos. Uh, I, I participated with two photos. Uh, I took it uh, in Prague uh, above, from above uh, um, the, 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 the famous clock there in uh, the clock uh, square in Prague. Uh, this two photo means a lot to me because it it's very unusual vision uh, as a photographer. Okay. And uh, finally, how do you evaluate such an exhibition today? Uh, this exhibition is unique because everybody here make it its photo. You know, the photo can be created by the camera or by the photographer. This exhibition, especially this one, because it is a unique vision, it's created by the photographer, not by the camera. It's a great feeling to be able to participate in such an exhibition because it's a great group to work with and it's a great experience as well. So what do you hope to gain from such an exhibition? Are you just an amateur or do you want to take this professionally? No, I'm just an amateur and it's very nice to show people what uh, I can do. Um, did you learn anything from the other photographers? I always learn from other photographers. I always learn from uh, small things, from small words, from any lectures. Every time I meet someone and we talk, I, they always add something to me. How does Cairo Camera Club differ from any other photography club? Uh, what I like about Cairo Camera Club that they have a monthly meeting. They always uh, they have a uh, calendar all over around the year. They have. Um, outings every month, they have a competition every month, every month we know what is this, uh, the theme. So uh, all over the year we know what we are going to participate in. So I know what I'm going to, I'm going out today, I know what I'm going to take picture of, so I'll be always ready for this competition. So what about what inspired your photos uh, that you took part with? What inspired you? Well, Mostly nothing special, but when I'm out, it's just a mood. It's a certain mood. And when I'm happy, I look uh, at certain things in a different way. So I try to capture beautiful stuff. When I'm sad, my pictures is a little bit, you know, dark and uh, depressed. And it depends on the mood mostly. That's for me. Well, the idea behind it is uh, everything that's unusual. So uh, everybody has uh, taken some pictures that um, might not look uh, ordinary when you see them uh, firstly, but when you really look, they are very, very nice and expressive. So what about your photos, your personal photos? Um, what do you think makes them unusual? 
Well, my photos, I have one which is a reflection, which is very unusual because it's a reflection on a, on a mirror of a very tall building, several colors, so it's very interesting. And the other one is just a silhouette, but the idea behind it is, is um, quite unusual also because it's, it's in a very special house in uh, Barcelona. So the whole thing makes it very, very special. Um, so is this your first exhibition? No, actually it's not. It's my first exhibition with the CCC, but it's my third exhibition uh, in my career. I think uh, uh, during the year or over the year we make uh, lectures and workshops and uh, to improve the level of the photographer and this is the result at, at the end of each year this is the result of what is the photographer doing how they improve themselves and all these things but this time I think it's very very good uh, exhibition so how many photographs are taking part and photographers? I participated with uh, two photos, one taken at Dubai and one at uh, Gorgada. And I tried to be something new. Uh, so this is reflect the relation, bet uh, my photo reflects the relation between uh, colors and uh, lines. Um, so would you say your photos differed last year than this year? Uh, of course, totally different and the exhibition itself is, is different as a, a quality of the photo. Uh, I think everyone offers the best to this exhibition.